Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I'm going to try and create a TIE Fighter in Blender within 5 minutes. I wasn't originally planning on doing a 5 minute challenge, but it sounded fun, so we'll see where I get, and no, I'm not planning on adding colors until afterward. But, here we go! I start with the default cube, delete it, and replace it with a UV sphere. From the UV sphere, I go on top view, and then go in edit mode, and then select the top vertexes, and delete them. Then I go add a mirror modifier, so I only have to do half of it at one time. From there I go into face select mode, and select four of those faces, and extrude them outward. Then I flatten them and delete those faces. Then I go into vertex select mode and select those vertexes and extrude them outward and then scale. Then I select those four vertexes that are making it kind of strange and scale them outward so it looks more like a TIE Fighter. Then I select all the vertexes and scale it outward. I then hit extrude and scale them downward, to, and then hit F to fill that face. I then select all the in-between faces and hit I to inset. Then once I do that, I go into the inset faces and change it to individual. I then go and select the faces on the outside and extrude them inward. Then I go and do that same thing on the other side. I then add a cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees. Then I scale it down and move it in edit mode until I can barely see it poking out. I then select the faces next to the cylinder until I get them all, and then I scale it flat so that they're all flat. I then move that backwards so that I can see the whole cylinder, and then I kind of change the vertexes a little bit to make it look a little better. I then go into the front face of the cylinder and delete it. I then select the vertexes and extrude it downward and then keep doing that until I get the shape I'm looking for. Then once I get to the last one, I hit F to fill and turn on proportional editing and move it outward a little bit so that it has more of that bulge that I'm looking for. I then go and select some of the faces that I'm wanting to make the design look a little cooler. Once I have them all selected, I extrude outward. I then go and select the wing and move it closer to the rest of it. Yeah. 
From here, I just go and change a couple of things, like apply the mirror modifier. I'm not quite sure why I did that. And I also go change the name from Sphere to TIE Fighter. And that basically does it. So now that the challenge is done, I go and add color to the TIE Fighter. So with the color added, it looks like this. Personally, for being five minutes, I think it looks okay. I then ended up doing some mini animations with it, which I thought was kind of fun. And they should be pulling up on screen right now. This TIE Fighter is also what inspired me to do a light speed tutorial because I thought it would be fun to do a light speed effect with this TIE Fighter. So here it is. And with that, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and bye!